Hi everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm the executive producer of Wild West Online. The whole team's excited for you to take a look at some of what WWO has to offer. We'll start with a quick look at the character creation screen where you can choose your gender, color, and other elements to customize your look. When you join the game for the first time, you'll spawn at the train station, one of the towns. In this case, it's Stone Creek. Look around, then move around and start exploring. And you'll never get lost in the world because with the press of a hotkey, interactable locations highlight in the viewport. Here we'll see a clothing store, bank, gunsmith, saloon, and a newspaper bulletin board. So we're going to check a bit out of what we've got around us, and then we're going to decide what to do next, and uh, let's go read the paper. So uh, newspapers are a key part of world building in WWO, and we plan on writing new ones on a regular basis to expose more of the game story uh, and highlight what's happened in the world so some of the player actions become part of the lore. And they're not just fun, they'll also contain info about in-game events. Uh, in a clothing store, you can change clothes or buy a new outfit. So we'll go to this clothing shop right over here, and we're going to skip looking at the uh, interface. And instead, we'll just show you this new outfit that we got, complete with this uh, red bandana and white hat. So we look kind of badass. All right, so now the next stop is the saloon. All of the towns have saloons, which are the hubs for social activity in Wild West Online. You can buy drinks, talk to NPCs to get quests, gamble against the house, brawl against other players, and take part in other recreational activities. So we're going to look around in this saloon a little, and we're going to head out back here, check out where there's the card games so you can play in this saloon, uh, poker or roulette. There'll be different games in different saloons. Now, almost all open buildings can be explored. But if you take something from there that doesn't belong to you, it's theft. In this case, we're going to go over here and we're going to steal this whiskey bottle. So there it is, and we are going to take it. Whoop. Alrighty, we just stole that whiskey bottle. But since no one saw us, our reputation wasn't affected. So the moral here is, if you're going to steal, don't get caught. Because if your reputation gets bad enough, you might end up on the most wanted list. And the sheriff's office is where you can see the most wanted board and, if you want, enroll for duty as a deputy. <laughs> Any player can claim a bounty. So all you do is go over to the uh, bounty board over here, click on it, open it up, and now you can drag and drop the bounties that you want to collect. So we're claiming the bounties that we want to go out and collect here. Grab a couple of those guys. All right, so now we are saying that we're going to go ride out, meet up with my friend Mike, and he and I are going to hunt down those bounties and try and collect our reward. So, before we go out and hunt those bandits, we're going to go to a rest cabin. Now, in a rest cabin, um, you can do a variety of different things. You can rest, regain stamina and health, and you can use the crafting desk to make things, access your stash of your reserve supplies, and change outfits like in a clothing store. You also can unlock the ability to fast travel between cabins. The map will show you all the places you've unlocked fast travel between, and then you can select where you want to go and pop on over there. So we are going to travel from Stone Creek to this cabin marked right over here. Hold E to travel and bang, here we are. And now you can see Stash, clothing change, crafting desks, we can rest up in here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go find Mike. Because Mike has ridden out ahead and staked out a campsite and located where he thinks the first of our bounties are. You can see that in Wild West Online there's different environments. This is a pine forest. The pine forest is completely different from that plainsy kind of location that we saw out around Stone Creek and in Stone Creek. And so we're going to march through this forest and we're going to look for Mike and the campsite so we can meet up and rest up a bit more and then go find our bounties. Oh, there he is. Mike and I are going to team up to hunt this bounty together and the bounty may very well have uh, his posse with him. Yo, hey Mike, how you doing up, there buddy? Good to see you. Mike has set up a campsite and a campsite is basically a portable reusable rest cabin. Some of them have all of the features of the rest cabins, and some just allow you to say, change your outfit and rest up. Once we've rested up, we are going to head out and hunt our bounty. And there he is, Sabian. We're going to hunt him down, and he's got his buddy Davenport with him. So Mike and I should be able to take down those two guys. Pretty. Oh, oh there's a third guy. All right, so Mike, we're going to go left. We're going to go around Let's here and flank him. 
So you take the left flank, I'm gonna take the right Sounds flank. Sounds good. You come around and we're gonna crossfire them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, sneak up on this guy right here and I'm gonna shoot him through his tent and he is going to be a sad camper. When the time is right, we okay, are going I'm ready. to say bye bye. Now I'm gonna sneak around here. And Got him! Oh, Mike took down Davenport. Oh, oh crap! Shit. Our guy saving it just shot Mike, so now it's just me. Bastard. Son of a bitch. There you are. Alright. Got him. Alright, so I got the bounty. I lost Mike, but uh, I got saving it, and I got our bounty. Thank you everyone for checking out the Wild West Online gameplay video. Please go to our website at playwwo.com to sign up for the alpha. Visit our forums and subscribe on social networks like Facebook and Twitter to keep abreast of the latest info, get exclusive offers, and make your suggestions heard. Thanks.